super <laughs> fine margins. You know what it is? They're they're actually hurt, bro. Like this is this is what it is. Like you know them ones. Like the Mason Mount situation is like when a man's with a girl, blood, and she leaves, man, bro. And I mean, and she's with a better man. A man's just like, oh yeah, bro. Yeah. I went into her anyway. I was cheating on you and all that. Uh, who cares, bro? You know, like that, bro. Like, why are you taking more. comps of a man of his first game, yeah? After preseason, and then even towards the end of the season, last season he was injured, so he ain't played football for about God knows how long, yeah. So, like, what did you expect, man, to hit the ground running? It's weird, bro. It's mad. Uh, you know, it is, yeah. Like I said to you, I seen it the offside shot and that, you know, what I mean, a couple of opportunities that he missed and that, but bro, it's his first game. Like, I don't understand what did we expect him to do, you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. especially he's playing with players that are not probably on his level or, you know what I mean, not the players he's going to play with anyway. So I think for me, it's shameless behaviour, isn't it? But they're going to do the same thing with Havertz today, apparently. Apparently today is Havertz, but apparently they don't care, though. Apparently these lot weren't great and they didn't want them anymore, but all of a sudden, they're in their, they're in their mouths every minute, man. It's, it's a man in the dunya, yeah, man. This so... is the problem, though. Like, you say that you don't care, but you're acting like you care, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. No, yeah. just... For me, I just don't get it, man. I think he did some good stuff. He did some... All right, stuff, but nothing that I didn't expect anyway. But ultimately, it's preseason, isn't it? Like, what what I liked more was was Kobe Miner's performance, man, and his maturity as well, broski. Like He's for me, yeah. Uh, like I don't even want to like. Like, for me, like, a lot of people say Pogba comparison. I think it's Colby Mino, man. Like, he's just him, in it? Like, no, the way he's... not a Pogba. He kind of reminds me of, like, um, like John Obi. Yeah, for me. You know them ones? You oh, know John when... Mikel. Okay. Remember, remember when Mikel come through, blood? And Mikel used to just play yeah, the yeah. DM role, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Just simple, passing the ball, drop the shoulder, turning and that. Bro, good yeah, player. Yeah. Bro. Do you know what I mean? Mikel off, off the pitch stuff kind of got involved in it but like when he first come through bro he's very similar bro just good ball retention good physical stature like do you know what i mean he's yeah. a good player bro do you know what i'm saying and yeah, yeah, yeah. mino's got a bit more like he can carry the ball as well you know like that which is what i oh, like well man which is what i like yeah he's got man the confidence that he can kind of he can carry the ball and i just think that he needs he needs minutes like he's at the he's at the stage right now that Foden was at maybe like a couple years ago where it's like he, he was getting little chances here and there, but it's like, all right, cool. You just need to just take the risk and just give him that minutes. You know, like that. Because the talent man. is there, bro. The talent is 100% there. You know what it is, though, with my United fans? They've got this kind of feeling like you're not ready until a certain age or whatnot, or mm. you're not... You know what I mean? You have to go on about a thousand loans. Like Rico Lewis, mm -hmm. man's playing in what? The, the register role, they call it nowadays, where you pick up the ball... And, and, and you know what I mean? Your inverted fullback role. Man's doing that at 17, 18. So, end of the day, yeah, like, let's not pretend that we need to, he needs to sit, hurt, sit, kind of hit a certain age for him to be ready. I'm looking at his actual body movements, the feints, the kind of the way he manipulates the ball, the way he kind of like he's bullying professional, professional athletes, man. Like, mm -hmm. these are guys that are seasoned pros. Like, he's, he's, he's taking to the shots, man. And he's doing it. He's winning the ball back as well. I don't know. I, I think for me, there's sometimes you can have loans here, but I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think this guy is ready to be part of a squad. And that doesn't necessarily him. mean... That's it. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that he plays every week. But I'm talking about a squad where, yo, listen, we could have like... You know, Sally Ferguson used to have these games where you win the game, 60th minute, it's two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bring on the young Gs to come and, come and get involved, blood. Yeah, man, get involved. Say, you're right. Here's a 20 minutes for you. Then it becomes 30. Then it becomes whatever. Like, I, I, I generally think for me, him and Zidane Iqbal were ready. Obviously, Zidane Iqbal's situation might have been different. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. Yeah. Iqbal maybe just doesn't have the physicality like, that, um, yeah. that Kobe has. Kobe Milo has. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in that aspect, but it would have been a dream. Imagine that Kobe Milo in the, in the, in the, in the sixth role or whatever. And then you got. You know what I mean? In the eight Zidane Iqbal. It would have been a dream, but like I said to you, things don't happen like that way. But I generally think for me, Ten Hag might be using him as that midfielder that we all think that we're going to go and get. I hope it's not because I feel like we still need another body alongside him. Because like I said to you, you don't want to rush him into the situation. You want to kind of delve him into certain aspects of the game. But I think for me, I can't lie to you. He's got things that I don't think other midfielders have. He definitely, Fred doesn't have what he's got. McTominay. So he's a different profile that we don't have, like, that is press resistant as well, man. That like, he can actually use his body to, to come out of situations. We don't have players that can do that in our team, for me. You know, I don't think we have. So, 
Yeah, but I, I think it's a it's a it's a situation. Uh, we'll still go oh, and get shit. Amrabat. We'll still go and get Amrabat. Hopefully, he, he I will... hope so, man. They're saying that the deal's pretty much like in place, bro. It's it's a light money. It's like twenty five million euros. He wants to come yeah. to the club. The manager wants him. They they they're yeah. insinuating it's a very easy deal to make, innit? And I believe it is. So yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, yeah, I think hundred we'll percent get that done. And also, I don't know if you've seen, but we're about to hopefully sell Elango for about twenty million. I think there's a big one. Everton or something. Not, to Everton, but now Nottingham Forest have come involved. So, yo, listen, let's start a bidding war, man. Let's get, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm Twenty million for Alanga is amazing money. Twenty million. That's what I'm saying. Twenty million. Mm. Get, you know, what I mean, if there's a bidding war, then it could stretch to twenty five. But twenty million. I'm not gonna lie to you, but that's a good business, man. I, you know, I don't know if you'll ever be that potential. I'm not gonna lie to you, but good luck to a minute. We could get twenty million. It was a free anyway, so that's twenty million profit that we could go and use for a, for a player that you know, what I mean, that we need. So imagine Amrabat comes in and he's 25. You know what I mean? You've only technically spent 5 million if, if you look at it in that aspect. So, you know what I mean? I think for me, it's a, it's a good, good option, man. And you know what? We need to start selling these players, man. It's getting too much now, man. Like, get get these players in and, and sell them on, man, because we ain't got no time to waste, man. If we ain't got the money, at least sell well, innit? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Do one at least. 100%. You know what no, I'm saying? You're, you're so, completely right. Yeah, so hopefully you can sell him for, for 20 million. Um, and then obviously we get Henderson out the door, you know what I mean, and and and, and sell him on as well. And just recuperate a bit of money, man. Fred hopefully might go for 20. You know what I mean? McTominay might go for as well for a little bit of something. So let's get some money involved, man. And let's start to, to actually sell players on and get players in that Ten Hag once because, you know what I mean, we, we're a bit light in, in certain departments, especially up front as well, man. So... I don't know what's going up with the upfront situation, man. It's it's getting a bit tiring, to be honest with you. Yeah. I heard reports today about still eighty five million for for Hoyland. I think that's a bit steep, man, for a player. I don't think goals. that that's. I don't think that's real, Said. I think that that's not real at all, bro. The reason why I say that is, all these Italian teams are broke, blood. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. very there's very few of them that could come on eighty five million, bro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm not an expert on Atalanta's. Financial, um, their financial the records, is, right. they can't be holding out for 85 million for, but for what, blood? What are you talking about? The only thing about, is, bro? though, the guy who sold us Maguire is their director of, I think, is it director of football or whoever? So he's at Atalanta, like million. yeah, Atalanta, yeah. So the guy who sold us Harry Maguire is. Is their basic director of football or chief negotiator of transfers? So it, this is where I'm like, it, it kind of does make sense in a in, in a way because he wants to kind of he loves Man United have paid in the past for a big money, so why not do it again? You know what I mean? Mm. And chance your option. So in that aspect, for me, obviously the story is the story, isn't it? and I think it's come from Laurie Whitwell, who's from the Athletic. I think for me, he's, he's not worth it. And if United are even thinking of paying that, for me, it's ludicrous. You might as well go spend 20 million more and go get Harry Kane if you're going to spend 85 yeah, million 100%. on Hoyland. 100%. You know what I mean? Like, that, that don't make sense for me, man. We'll get so, him. We'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. And we'll get him for around 60. We ain't spending 85 million on that, brother. It's impossible. You yeah. know what it is, yeah? Because Nunes cost around exactly. that. Do you know what I mean? They're looking at the going rate for centre-forwards now, and it's about that. It's 80, 85 to 100 million euros. That's what it is now because of oh, because of deals like that. Do you know what I mean? But Hoyland is not yeah. a goal scorer. At least Nunes was scoring goals. Even though it was one season, he was scoring yeah. goals. That don't make no sense to me, bro. Um, I don't believe yeah, that he's going to go for anywhere near that. You know what it is? This? The striker market is just a bit silly at the minute in terms of there's, there's not an abundance of strikers. You know what I mean? We've been linked with Teremi. And, and players like that. You know what it is? I just feel like for me, it's one of them where, I don't know, do people want to be a striker nowadays? I don't know, but it's just a bit of a, you, you've got you've got now the likes of Nkunku's and all them players, which are like a hybrid of a forward now. A lot of people want to be forwards, not maybe out and out number nines. And even well, this if they it. forwards, look at Nunes, he's become now of a winger now, you know what I mean, for, for Liverpool now. Yeah, he's you playing him out wide because he knows he ain't got no first touch. You can't play him down the middle. Do you know what but I'm there saying? You go. And what happened to um so, Cole Mwani? That went quiet. You know them, wasn't it? Yeah, that he's, went quiet as well. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. getting linked with like, us, Real Madrid. Well. And now, yeah. and now what? I ain't like, heard of anything about him moving. Nah, he costs too much money, bro. He, I think they want 100 million as well for him, man. The fact that there's a there's not an abundance of strikers. The, it's a premium now to buy a striker now. 
and, and that's just the reality of the situation. It is a premium to buy a striker. If you want to play buy a striker now, you've got to pay some big some big money, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's gonna cost. But we need it, man. Like, we're desperate, man. I know Martial's there, but we can't really rely on him. We no, we, we technically can't. need two strikers. You just need to pretend he's not but, there, blood. Like I'm hearing yeah, exactly. we can get we can get Joao Felix on loan, blood, and go and get Hoyland. Like, if we can get Hoyland and Felix on loan, yeah, it's calm, bruv. Like, that's what we need to do. Yeah. That's what we really but You know what it is, though? Let me be honest, though. Is Felix a dream for us, yeah? Or do we really think Ten Hag would get him? Because I know he was li- we were linked with it in the past, yeah? But do you reckon he's kind of moved on from that player? Because I'm not going to lie to you. I think... For me, I don't I don't think he's gonna look at that sort of player anymore. The luxury player that we need. He wants methodical players who can play in a system or whatnot. I want him. I, I think for me he'd be perfect because he can play across the front three. We can play him as a false nine, we can do whatever with him. But I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I I don't know if, if Ten Hag's gonna bring him, man. I don't know if he's got that mindset to bring in mm-hmm. a luxury player like that. For me, he'd be quality because I think he's got aspects of his game that a lot of these guys don't have. You know, the link-up play, the one-two given goals, you know what I mean? The fact that he can play across the front three, comfortable on the ball. Like, I, I don't know. I just think, for me, I don't know if the manager really wants him like that, man. He he would want Harry Kane, maybe a Hoyland, but I'm not so sure. And Plus, obviously, it's going to be a loan fee as well. So, it, it's crazy, man. It's a crazy. loan fee is still going to be a lot less than yeah. paying for um, a player outright. You know, like exactly. that. Exactly. So. Facts. Facts. That's so what I'm saying. You know what it is? I, I'd say that, but the thing is, though, I don't know, the confidence might not be there now, but I don't know. I, I think Skamaka, when, when I watched him um, at Swasolo, good player, man. Goals, different mm. variety of goals. Um, but again, I don't know, man. I think they're sort of playing. They miss Italy, man. They miss the pasta. They miss the Italian lifestyle, man. He wants to go mm. back to Italy straight away, man. Like, let's be real, man. You know what I mean? Like, he, he wants to go back to that lifestyle. And, and enjoy that, man. Sometimes England, some people, when they treat you like in a certain way, like David Moyes does, it leaves a mark on you. And you just, you kind of hate the city. You kind of hate everything that comes around it. And you kind of just want to leave in it. You know what I mean? And I think that yeah. would be him, you know. I'll be honest with you. You know what I'm saying to you? So You're right. Um, You're 100% right. I think he, he'll probably, his first choice will be just to go home, in it. Yeah, go home, see what's saying. And then come back. Vlahovic, for me, I wouldn't mind. I can't lie to you guys. I wouldn't mind him. I'm I'm more so leaning on Vlahovic maybe than Hoyland, if I'm being honest with you. Because I just think Vlahovic, once he gets his confidence, he'll score more goals than, than Hoyland, I think, for me. But mm. if it suits the system more, Hoyland, then go for Hoyland, innit? Like, if that's what the manager 